Okay, let's explore this overhead controllable variance scenario. I'll read the information that you see on the screen there. Budgeted overhead for Riley Inc. at normal capacity of 60,000 direct labor hours is $3 per hour variable and $2 per hour fixed. In July, 310,000 of overhead was incurred in working 63,000 hours when 64,000 standard hours were allowed. And the question asks us, what's the overhead controllable variance? Okay, so you see I put the formula on the screen there. Controllable variance is equal to actual factory overhead minus budgeted allowance based on standard hours allowed. And when you think of controllable, remember our focus uh, is on what we can control, what changes. That usually means what's fixed cannot be influenced in some short run period of time. Okay, so in the screen you see the information that we have available and I've put it in a matrix so I think we can, um, or a matrix or a table, so we can understand how this works. So under the standard column, we had 60,000 hours, variable standard was $3, fixed was two, right? So if we do the multiplication now, let me hit the F2, you can see, it takes 60,000 times $3 and we come up with 180,000 and then fixed standard is 120,000 has to be mathematically because um, uh, they're saying 60,000 is normal capacity at total fixed standard per direct labor hour of two dollars so perhaps a better way to think about that is we're expecting to have 120,000 of fixed overhead cost so what that means is the total standard sta the total standard overhead at normal capacity is 300,000. Okay, then if we move over to standard al allowed, we would do the same kind of calculation. Take that 64,000 of standard labor hours times the standard variable overhead per direct labor hour. And remember, they've, they've predetermined what these amounts are. Okay, so that would be 192,000. Then, over on the actual side, oh, I should have put this in to begin with. This number is 310,000. All right, there are 310. Okay, now, remember that I said fixed standard is assumed to not change. It's not anything we can control. So you could actually think of this as if you had 120,000 is what the standard called for, it's standard allowed, and whatever you happen to operate at, right? Whatever level of hours you used, we still have 120,000 of fixed. This is not within our control. Now, the reason why it's important to put it here is then that means if we knew that the total overhead was 310, 120,000 is perceived to be fixed and outside of our control, then what we could control is the 310 less the 120. Okay, and once I put that in, we see that actual variable standard overhead, as much as we can in, determine, is 190,000. The standard allowed was 192. Therefore, we had a favorable overhead variance of $2,000. Okay, now, does that mean we even need to put this number here? No, we really don't. But you could think of putting it in and then, and then uh, you know, pointing out that there's no variance here, right? And so what's controllable is just the, fu the full 2,000, right? We could sum that or I think I have the formula here to copy over. Okay, so what's controllable is the 2,000. Now, again, the whole point of this is we really don't need to do this and this calculation because our focus is really just on the variable portion since that is what is controllable. Okay everyone, I hope you found this to be helpful.